What's up guys, we're back on the GMC today. Have no idea what I'm gonna be working on or doing to this thing, but gotta get something done for sure. I'm way behind on this truck. So we're gonna get the front wheels back on it and we're gonna get it back in the garage and go from there. We'll see what we come up with. These wheels are way too heavy. Or maybe I should just work out some more, or at all, because I don't do that, as you can tell. We have to get the engine back in this thing too, or at least a block in the heads on it. I've got some stuff I have to kind of mock up for clearance, such as the AC compressor and things like that, so I can finish up the, the inner fender well and make sure it's gonna work with everything that we've done. I tried the Detroit Steels on my 54 couple weeks ago to see what it would look like and I thought it looked terrible so we're just gonna stick with what's on it for now one down maybe we'll fix all the rust in this fender over here I don't know Also have to finish building these inner fender wells. I got part of them done, but I stopped on that. And moved on to something different. <sighs> oh God, these things are way too heavy. I decided I'm gonna finish this roll pan today or at least get some more of it done we have to cap the top of this I made these a while back just haven't got around to adding them to it so they'll go on the top of this and get welded on we'll notch them so they sit back into this little section right here and then we'll make plates for the back that cap the whole back of this but the bottom will stay open because we have to be able to get up in the bottom to get the light bulb in and out so that's the plan we'll see how it goes taking the lights out get them out of the way don't want to weld on anything with the lights here because don't want weld splatter on the, the new lights so we'll get them out of the way and then start modifying the, well, not really modifying, fitting the piece that we already made so that it'll sit back in here. You see this sticks out on both sides, so we want the piece to fit down in there and then come out and follow this roll. And then we'll weld it to this, and then we'll make a back plate, and then you'll still be able to get underneath there to uh, bolt this together because this will actually still come off this unbolts from the truck so you can take that off you can mount the light in it and then bolt it back to the truck you want to take the other light off yeah how do i do it just unscrew the nuts off the back of the light here 
don't let the light fall out in it before. The ones on the back, you said? Yeah. These? Yep. What are we marking? Where we have to notch this so it'll fit back in there. So we'll notch that out with a burr bit. Slide it back in there where it needs to be. And then we can grind everything back and start tacking that on there. And then we'll probably make a template for the back side. Make that, make the template, make sure it looks okay and fits right. And then we'll cut it out of some 18 gauge and weld that on there too. That's the plan. Stan. I don't know who Stan is. Oh, we already have the burr bit on there that we need, hopefully. Hopefully it's a sharp one. <laughs> Why is my nose constantly running? The weather changes by like 30 degrees every two days. Dude, and the pollen count. <sighs> Everything is yellow. It's like I'm constantly snorting the cocaine okay. and I don't even do that. You're not riding the train? No, I've never done the cocaine in my life. to grind this and this back because this has the paint grip coating it's like a galvanized coating doesn't work well when you try to weld to it angle grinder where are you scooby dooby doo where are you why aren't you in your normal location Ever. Just ever. I know, because I can't put things back. Ever. Ever. Now that Jackie's helping me with stuff, I can just blame it all on her. She lost it. Isn't that how marriage goes? <laughs> <laughs> me, me blaming everything on you? Or you blaming everything on A me? A little of both. Or both. Oh, yeah, the beauty of the burr bit action just jamming little shards of metal all over. I guess they primed these. Hmm. Thanks guys. straight? I think so. I mean, the people want to see you in action in your, your sweet onesie. You mean they want your, to... Your jumpsuit. You mean they want to see the blonde go wee? Wee! <laughs> you got dirt all over your butt. Probably. There's no probably to it. You do. You get it. That's not going to work. How do I do this? The front wheels turn. It's like... Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Where do you want it? Right here is fine. You need, I need that green creeper. The green creeper. You getting creepy? We're getting creepy. from the outside. Then I'll grind it off after I weld the inside. I 
need to cut those welds back loose. That thing, it pulled in too far, <laughs> unfortunately. We probably have like a combined like 70 feet of like workbench in here. There's not one spot anywhere. <laughs> make a template of probably the front of this so it matches and then cap the back so that it hides the wires and bulb and all that good stuff. So let me find some cardboard. I want the template cardboard. Square on the wall. I don't know what a tri square is. Now you know. Now I know. Now Jackie knows what a tri square is. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. In case American hero. In case y'all didn't know. In case y'all didn't grow up watching G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe or He Man? Both. I mean, we're from the 80s. It's got to be both. Okay, I don't hate it. But that will work. I think it'll look okay. It's still going to probably be a pain in the butt to change the bulb. I don't know if you'll be able to pull it out of there without pulling the whole bracket off, but it's going to be Damien's problem. You're going to have to change the bulb for your wife, Damien. If it goes out, we need to find some 18 gauge. That'll work. It's gonna work. Of course, it's not enough to do two, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Chop this excess off that we don't need. Cut the rest by hand. 
Are you cutting outside? Um, yeah, I think so. Look at her. If it's good, we'll tack it on, we'll weld it from the back side and then grind the excess down on the, this side. Would you look at that? All right, and then I think we'll also probably cap this back here. In this little area and make a triangle piece to cap that and just probably tack it to this so you don't have that hole right there because the wiring for the tail light is going to come down through this pocket and into here we'll have a plug on there hopefully i can fit the plug through i don't want to make it where you have to cut any of the wires to pull the bed off the truck so I'm hoping that there's enough room through that pocket that we can drop a small plug down through it, wire it down here, and just be able to plug the light in. But we'll see. If not, we can run a, basically run a pigtail through here and put a plug somewhere on the inside also. That way, if you ever need to pull the bed off the truck, you don't have to cut the wires. You can just unplug it inside and then pick the bed up and then your your pigtail will still be through the pocket and plugged into the light but if you want to remove the light and change the bulb i want another plug down in here that way you can unplug it right here and pull the light out if you need to that's the plan anyway we'll see how things go side of here and then we'll come back and you can see we got a little bit sticking up over our hole so we'll grind all that smooth after we get it welded in here let's make sure this fits so we have to drop this through the nuts on from back here with this bottom being open this is the this is the easy one the other one's gonna be a little bit of a pain but we could actually pull the, the bulb out and get it out of the way and get the nut on this stud over here but having this where you can take this loose and take it off the truck it'll be easy to pull the, the bulb out of there if you needed to we drop the light out, pull the bulb, change the bulb. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I don't. I'm just faking it. So you made it. Right. See, the bulb will actually come out of there with the light in place, too. So. All right. This side's done. <laughs> Weld it up, ground back, looking like it's supposed to. We're still probably gonna cap this back here. Now we have to make the other side look like this side. So uh, we'll get started on that now. Can I help with anything else? Yeah, probably. I like to learn. You're learning. Move learn how to move stuff. a little. Yeah, move all the stuff over here. <laughs> I'm like you, the shop bitch. You wanted to help. <laughs> That's helping. <laughs> Let's start training bad. We're gonna have to push this thing back in some.
1950 Pontiac taillights, and a 1948 GMC truck. <laughs> the old guys. <laughs> Dad's going to be cursing if we don't tell him to shush. <laughs> oh, yeah, there'll be bleeps all in the video, especially with Mike here, too. Oh, my God. They don't stop. We wouldn't even be able to have sound. We'd have to basically it'd just be one nonstop. They talk more than me. That's impressive. That's very impressive. That is extremely impressive. And guys, if you get me around them, that's a whole other story. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Mike and Jackie together as a talking team, it's nonstop. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I built the whole truck today. Yeah, she and, built everything. Um, that's just about done. But yeah, super cool. So Steven said he's going to continue working on the back of the truck in the next couple days. So hopefully we'll get that on film for you. And we will. We'll get it all on film. Yeah. Well, let's see what That's happens. That's the plan. We plan on working on it the rest of the weekend and finishing the roll pan. So we've got more welding to do on it. We've got brackets to attach to it so we can attach it to the fenders. Um, we've got to put perforated metal behind all the holes and several other things. So we'll try to get it all filmed. But anyway. Yeah. So sorry the camera's still a little shaky i'm still learning how to do everything and um yeah that's about it so thanks for sticking around we've uh been doing really well so far with the channel and we're really super grateful for you guys so like subscribe comment and all that good stuff and comments from the peanut gallery they just can't help themselves <laughs> we'll see you guys next time all right thanks guys later all right. bye y'all <laughs>